Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Difference between CLEs and PEMCO. Yeah, sure, I can give that a shot. Yeah, uh, no doubt. So I'm looking at the one-inch nylon um, brush, the L brush. It's the one with the 90-degree um, angle. And, uh, you know, the PEMCO, which the architects always, uh, you know, spec, is like twice the cost of the seal easy. And I know that AB Supply offers cutting for both, you know, down to a custom length so that the we don't lose any of the mounting holes. Uh, but why PEMCO? How about that? Well, PEMCO is an excellent company, uh, as is CLEs. The problem in the comparison is you might not be comparing uh, equal items. CLEs has different grades of bristle. Uh, okay. And PEMCO has only one superior grade, or how does that they work? They have one them? grade. I would, I would certainly not say superior. If you're going to go with bristle, CLE, you might, you should probably consider CLEs. Here's why. All they do is bristle. So the turret on the Sherman tank, that bristle that's there, you know who makes it? CLE. <laughs> that's, that's real. That's that's real. The Army buys that's that great. or the Sherman tank from CLEs. They're experts. Now, PEMCO is as well. But if you're seeing something that's double the cost from PEMCO, you must not be comparing the same density uh, and thickness of bristle. That's just the bottom line. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I just hit um, out of 12, you know, uh, search result pages that popped up. I'm going sequentially. And um, the CLEs, you know, just happen to be on the first few pages. I think I'm on page 7. I'm still on Sealy's. So um, how can I refine my search to, uh, well, first of all, what is the, um, how many different grades of Sealy's bristles are there, and how can I refine my search to, to capture those? Two or three for sure. What is the PEMCO part number so I can understand what the baseline is? Uh, 90100 underscore NB. So let's say CNB. Okay, now that's going to be that 90 degree with a the length of that bristle, one inch. Okay, so that's going to be a CLE's part number. Take a look. Oh, one inch. And that's a one inch wide extrusion on the top. Yeah. I wish it was uh, overall one inch with the brush and the slot together, but um, I don't think I'm in luck on that one. Um. Sealy's has one that will be 0.92 overall. Mm. Or 1.19, 1 1.19 overall. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. Let's. I'll, I'll play around with that uh, once we determine the. You know. Well, what what length are we dealing with? What, um, are we going to go with a one-inch long bristle, or do you want to be closer to one-inch overall? I want to be closer to one-inch overall, but I'd rather be over. Oh, okay, sure. So you could get yourself into... Okay. That's going to be about 1.2, like you said. Um, how about... How about the C... Okay, here's the part number. C, C is in Charlie, 390. CLA as in Charlie Lima Alpha, 06, 
BL, as in Bravo Lima. Okay. And just plug that into your search box. Yes, sir. And hit enter or click O. There we go. 1624. We need a 60. Clear anodized. Uh, do they come in a um, a dark anodized of some sort? Uh, let's see. In a 90 degree, that would be an F. Let's see. F590. They do not. They do not offer a dark bronze anodized on, and that would probably be the other reason. If you're looking at dark bronze, it would prove to be significantly more expensive. Um, they don't, is the bottom line. Oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this is their premier line here. Uh, highest quality. It's not. This is their mid grade. This is their mid grade? Yeah, there's one that's heavier. Like the sliding okay. door. Enclosures for the elephant enclosure at the San Diego Zoo. Guess what? <laughs> that's that's CLEs. <laughs> they have a heavier duty one, but the heavy duty stuff doesn't get as small as you need. It would start at about uh, two inch overall height, and then about one one and seven sixteenths overall width on the extrusion. Huh. Okay, so this should be good enough. This is actually going to be used. Um, it's a top sweep fixed onto the back of a fascia um, on a five foot um, top hung sliding, you know, pocketing front door. Oh, sure. And, and uh, just, damn it, got a one inch gap on it. Yeah. So the thermal brush, um, is this better? I mean, it says, you know, does this indicate some kind of better thermal um, uh, performance? Right, name for the material. Go ahead. It's their trade name for the material, thermal. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And is this the? Do you think this is the best one that uh, I can get from you guys? Um, you know, for this type of application, ninety I degree think so. nylon brush. Yeah, I mean, I, I think in a sliding door application, it's going to be brutal to try to seal that anyway, given the other areas of the door. Pemco is excellent, um, but what you'll find with these sealies is that the aluminum extrusion will be thicker. And these bristles will be at least as good as what Pemco is doing. Plus, Pemco is probably per Pemco is certainly purchasing the bristle from someone, and I don't know that it's Sealy's, but it could be that Sealy's manufactures their own brush assemblies. So it's probably part of the difference that a lot of that Pemco is farming out. Mm. And uh, and of course marking up. So ships within two weeks. That's about right. And your cutting service, your offer to cut is still valid? Sure. Just, yeah, indicate in the, next, in the comment field the next longest item. Okay. Do you cut it from both ends, uh, or do you just cut off a of one end and drill a new hole for the um, for the mounting? None of the slots are, are – the slotting is done after the cut to length is done. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I also enjoyed watching your videos, so um, keep up the good work. I look forward to earning that, sir. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.